So welcome to Gertie's Max Out, my name is Devon. So we're going to be doing a warm-up of about four to five minutes, which really isn't very long at all. So Gertie's Max Out, we're going to be working everything from the hips down. So once we've done our warm-up, we have six supersets ahead of us. The first superset is a tricep, which means there's three exercises within that set. After that, there's just two exercises. The first two are strength, guys. So for the first five exercises, we're going to be using a heavy barbell. If you don't want to use the barbell, of course, you can substitute the dumbbells. And you are completely in charge. You can go as heavy as you like or as light as you like. So if you're looking for gains and power, then you want to go with additional resistance and less repetitions. If you're looking to lean out and shred, then you want to go lighter and knock out as many reps as possible so it starts to feel like cardio. All right, so we have those six supersets coming up. Our max out today, I'm going to get you into that anaerobic threshold and hold you there for about three minutes and we'll be using a kettlebell. So um, I'm gonna recommend somewhere between 10 to 20 pounds, depending on how strong you are. Pretty much, guys, the max out today is gonna be a figure eight, a drop, pop, into a squat thruster. That will count as one rep. We do that four times, eight times, 12 times, and 16 times, so it gets a little heavy. All right, we're also gonna be using the band, uh, the bursa loop here. The green is the easiest, and the purple is the hardest. So if you're not sure and you want to get one of a different, you know, of each different color, you're welcome to. All right? <laughs> it looks innocent, but it isn't. So it's not only the color of the verse loop that's going to dictate the resistance, it's also where we place it on the legs. And I will be covering that in just a minute. So this is a full hour class, guys, but you're completely in control the whole way. So typically, each exercise, we're going to do it for about 30 seconds. So you choose how many reps, you choose your resistance. I'll offer modifications throughout, progressions and regressions. All right, guys, and um, you go through it three times. First time should be hard, second time should be pretty challenging, third time you want to be starting to head towards fatigue. That means the muscles will start to burn, tremble, shake, and it's gonna get harder and harder and harder to push out another rep, all right? So that's what we're going for today. All right. All right, guys, let's take it into squats. Down up. All right, so I'm going to be coaching you pretty heavily in this class today, so it's always going to feel a little bit like personal training, all right? Now, we're going to be doing a lot of squats later on, and we're going to be loaded up heavy. So we want to make sure our technique is correct. So we want to be putting all that weight back into the heels, core is engaged, chest is up a little deeper. How do you know if you're in alignment? At the base of the movement, you should be able to wiggle the toes. That means you're not loaded onto the knees. Right, guys, from here, let's go ahead. Hamstring curl, take it in, two, three. Now, I don't have long to get you ready for that big, heavy weight. So we're gonna start to drive the arms back harder. Take it in, two, single, single, double. Take it single, double up. Again, take it single, single, double up. Now, if you don't understand the single, single, double, who cares, right? Just stay with the single, but it's all good. Never be the same. Take it single, single, double, up. Lovely. Two more times. Woo. From here, guys, let's go ahead. Single knee lifts. Knees up. In, in. Nice and strong with the arms. Chest is lifted. Starting to bring the knees up towards the shoulder. Or to activate the abs. From here, guys, reach across the body. Can we start to come? Just a little bit lower. We got it. Down, down. Now we're going to do one leg only with a tap out. On your left, it's tap, tap. How far out can you take that leg? You want to start to bring it down, guys. You got it. Start to feel that ignition in that stabilizing thigh. To the other side. And take it out. Boom. You should be breathing harder. Core temperature should have increased. Start to feel that fire light up in the legs. It means you're in the right place. Guys, plie squat. Take it wide. Plie. Toes are turned out. Feel the grab in the inner thighs. Drive to the heels. Squeeze inner thighs together. One squat, one curtsy. One squat, left leg back, curtsy. Squat, right leg back to a curtsy. Squat, left leg. Squat, right leg. Just a few 
kimono, when we did the pivot ski, we want to imagine that our chest and our hips are like the headlights on a car. They stay facing front. Good job. Guys, all we're going to do is take it into alternating rear lunges. Slow down left leg. Back, drop, switch to the right leg. Back, down. As you rise up, you are driving through that front heel to activate the glutes. Again, we take it out, drop, in, up, back, super. All right, guys, we've only got a few seconds. I need to get your heart rate up before we lift heavy. March it out and in. Take it out, in, out, and down, and down, down up here. Now you can stay right there, or if you're ready, we can try a pop squat. Down. Down. You got it. So if you're not ready to jump, you don't have to, right? Super. Let's run this up with jumping jacks right here. Boom. Now guys, I'm actually bending my knees and landing solid. That's it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out and Hold right there, guys. Now, I'm going to show you the first three exercises that you're going to execute for 30 seconds. You determine how heavy you want to go. Now, we will be adding the band, okay? So it's a double whammy, two for the price of one. So, pick your band, guys. You're going to step into it. Green is easiest, purple is heaviest. And if you're not sure, grab one of each. Take it an inch above the knee. Take up hands around. Make sure it's nice and flat. Now, guys. The first one we're going to do, we're going to safely clean and press onto the meaty part of the upper back. What you're going to do is take a side squat out, step together, squat, step together. So if you're not comfortable doing a lateral squat, just stay on the spot. The second exercise is advanced. It's a searcher. Now guys, what you're going to do is come down and hold. It's down, hold, rise, okay? Down, hold, and rise. The last one, you can either do a Romanian deadlift like this, or if you're more advanced, you can take it back onto the upper part of your back, and you can take it into the good mornings. All right, so if you're anxious about good mornings, stay with the Romanian. All right, guys? So let's go ahead, safely clean the bar up onto the meaty part of the upper back. That's it. So what we're gonna do is take your squat side to side for 30 seconds at your own pace. Are you ready, guys? Let's go. Jab. Now, as you go side to side, you're still sitting back into the heels. So you want to imagine you're sitting back into an imaginary chair. The elbows are under the hands, and that's going to encourage you to keep that chest lifted. So you want to look for the logo of your shirt in the mirror ahead of you to ensure that chest stays up. Next, you can think about squeezing the shoulder blades together. Last one, you guys. All right, for a zercher. Now, if you don't want to do a zercher, you can keep it on your back. Otherwise, take it between the elbows. Take the feet wider so you feel that back. Ready, guys? We're going to take it down and hold. Let's go. Down, hold, up. Down, wait. That's it. So we created a little bit of inertia. We are shocking the muscle. Now, with this heavy loaded bar, it's anterior loaded. So you have to be really careful that it doesn't pull you onto the balls of your feet or onto the knees. So keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. You got it. Down. It's hard, right? Woo! You should be breathless, guys, already if you've got the right weight. And hold right there. So you can either do a Romanian deadlift or if you want to go advanced and take it to the good morning, this is way more advanced, guys. Otherwise, you're deadlift. Ready? Now, go slowly and come on up. So whether you're doing the Romanian deadlift or the good morning, you need to tune into your hamstrings, guys. You're going to feel them go tight, tight, and at that tightest point, that is your cue to come out of the exercise. You are contracting through the hamstrings and glutes and the muscles in the lower back to rise on up. That 
those muscle groups form your posterior chain. Four, in three, in two. Nice, you guys. Safely clean the press and put it down. After the first round, I always give you an extra 10 seconds. So if you need to make adjustments to the bar, you do so now. Do not add some weight. Or on the flip side, you want to take some away. If you don't feel good with the bar and you want to go with dumbbells, no problem. And see I'm sweating already, guys. That's a good indication. That's a benchmark of where you want to be. We're going to go back. All right, we're going to go back to the side to side back squats. All right, so again, if that doesn't feel good for you, then just stay on the spot. I uh, Try not to pull forward. Everybody with me? All right, guys, listen up. Four, three, two, that's any side. Side to side. So this is a, like a choreographed class, guys. You do not have to stay with the music. And for sure, you don't have to stay with me. That's it. Very, very nice. So keep sitting back in those heels. Like you're sitting back in a chair that someone's gonna pull away from you at that last minute, right? So if you think someone's gonna take that chair away, you can brace yourself for the heel, right? So you won't fall over. That's it. You got it, guys. Woo! In four, in three, two. Very nice, guys. Zercher, or if that zercher was too much or it hurts your elbows, keep it on your back. So we're gonna play with the range and the tempo. Ready? Down and hold. And five, six, seven. Take it down. Hold and come on up. Down. Hold. Ooh. Down. So what we're doing is we're shocking the muscle. It's an explosive drop. Then we need to overcome the inertia. And then we need to control. Yeah. That's hard. That one will take your breath away. Keep going, guys. So remember, keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. You've got it. Four more seconds. No more, four more. Three. In two. Very nice. So we're going to go into the good morning. This time I'm going to show you the Romanian deadlift. So you pick which one. If you're in the Romanian, guys, one hand over, one hand under, neutral hand position. Get ready, guys. Slowly take it down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. So you see with the Romanian deadlift, I'm keeping that bar grazing my legs. My back is long and strong. The head is in alignment with the spine. So ideally, your eye line should be about 10 to 12 feet ahead of you. That will keep your head in alignment. So no collapsing in the back with either the Good Morning or the Romanian. Just to the point of maximum tension. Beyond that, guys, the back takes over and then it becomes unsafe. Keep it all in the muscle. And hold right there, boom. Safely clean and press overhead. One more round of this tricep, guys. And then we're moving on to set number two. All right? How are you doing with your weight? It should be hard now. We're gonna go back to side to side squats. Are you ready? Woo, all right, here we go. I'm sweating up here, you guys. You guys are making me work. All right, safely load it up. And five, six, seven. We sit back and step together. Now, how about this? How about every single repetition? We try and take that leg a little bit wider and we try and sit maybe a centimeter deeper every single time. So what we want to do is encourage you to start to venture out of your comfort zone. Remember the results are waiting for you. Right at that point where you're scared to go, right? Always the way, keep it going. Woo. You got it. Six, five, four. Nice with your alignment. Very good, you guys. And hold right there. Now, you can either keep it on your back or take it to the final time with that zercher. It's getting heavy now, right? All right, guys, either way. Are you ready? Take it down and hold. Here we go. Down. Wait. Drive up through the heels. Boom. You're going to hear me continually remind about pushing through the heels. Remember this, guys. The harder you push in the heels, the more you engage the muscles of the butt. All right, so if you want to lift and tighten the butt, you need to be driving through those heels. You got it. Ooh, that's getting uncomfortable. Down. And you've got the double whammy because that band is creating constant tension on the muscle at the same time. So you're being hit from every direction. And down and hold right there. All right, guys. 
Last time with that good morning. Or oh, the Romanian deadlift. You pick. Alright guys. Put that pencil, imaginary pencil between the shoulder blade. Pencil can't drop. Let's go. Slowly. And drive. That's it. Now it's tempting to go beyond that point of maximum tension. But guys, seriously, what will happen is if you go beyond that point of maximum tension, the back takes over. So the muscles no longer work it, and you're just placing undue stress on the spine. And we don't want that, right? So it's really, really important you don't compare yourself to anybody else. You tune into how your hamstrings feel, and where is maximum tension. Typically, it's somewhere between the base of the knee and mid shin. In four, in three, in two, and hold. Well done, you guys. Let's go ahead and lose that band for a second. We'll revisit that later. Okay, the next one can be done. It's only two. From now on, each superset's only got two exercises, guys. We're going to be doing a Cossack. If you're not comfortable with the bar, I'm about to show you with the bar, but any time with the next two exercises, you can always go ahead and hold a dumbbell like this, whether you're doing the Cossack or whether you're doing the alternating rear lunges. All right, but I'm going to show you with the bar. It does require an extra degree of concentration. We're going to safely clean the press over here. You're going to take the legs as wide as you can, keeping the toes forward. Now I'm going to stick my butt to the back wall in order to come lower. So you see I'm not leaning over the side of my knee and keeping my spine in alignment. All right, 30 seconds of that. The next one, alternating rear lunges. So remember, if you're not happy doing lunges, guys, go ahead and do squats, okay? So that's all it is, two exercises, 30 seconds each, all right? So if you don't want to pick up the bar, go ahead and pick up that heavy dumbbell. All right, guys, we're gonna prepare for the Cossack. So let's go ahead, up on the meeting part, the upper back. Now take the legs wide, turn the toes forward. Ready? Here we go. Now take the butt to the back of the room. I'll turn the music back up in a second. I just want to make sure you understand this for safety. So do you see, I'm not leaning over my knee, okay? I'm not going to compromise the LCL. I'm keeping my spine in neutral alignment. Keep going, guys. I'm going to bring the music back for you. Now what you want to be doing, you should have enough weight and the legs should be far enough apart that you have to really drive into the heel but also the lateral edge of the foot in order to get to the midline. To get deeper, take that foot even further to the back wall. You got it, guys. In three, in two, beautiful work. Keep the bar where it is unless you prefer to go to a dumbbell. We're gonna go to alternating lunges. Make sure the feet are at least hip width apart. Are you ready? And let's go. Back, drop, up, and switch. You can go at your own pace. However, I want you to think about your landing before you lower, all right? So as you come down, you're trying to bring that back knee down towards the floor. You're trying to bring that front thigh parallel to the floor. You want to avoid falling forward with the upper body. And again, as you rise up, push as hard as you can into that front heel. All right, so keep going, guys. Think of the upper body. Very tall and elegant, like a dancer. You're reaching up to the ceiling. In four, in three, in two. That's hard, right? Hold right there, my lovelies. Hold right there. Safely clean and press over head. Remember, after round one, I always give you an extra 10 seconds. So if you need to make any adjustments to the bar, go ahead and do it now. Whether you're adding or taking away. Or if you want to go to a dumbbell, go for it. So we're going back to the Cossack, guys. All right, so we're here. We're going to be taking that butt back. So one more time, look at this. I'm not leaning, all right? You don't see me doing this. It's going to knock out my ligaments. I keep it neutral by taking that butt back, all right? Here we go. I'm going to show you with a dumbbell. Otherwise, you can pick up your bar. If you're using a dumbbell, it's here. Now take the legs where they were before, guys. Now do this. Walk one foot out even wider. Are you ready? Let's go. Now completely at your own pace, all right? Because also, if you've got a really heavily loaded bar, you might feel like you're getting stuck at the bottom of the movement, and it might slow you right down, and that's okay. And drive. That's it, so you're keeping that chest lifted, so you should be able to see yourself in the mirror, 
so you can check your alignment and make sure that you're not collapsing through that spine. Everything we're doing here is to protect the back. The harder you pull the abs in, the more protected your back will be. So your abs have a job to do in supporting and stabilizing, right? In four, looks amazing guys, very nice. And hold right there. We're now gonna return to the alternating rear lunges. If you don't wanna lunge, do a squat. Are you ready? Let's go guys. Back, drop, up. Now I'm gonna turn profile so that you can see my alignment. So, I'm trying to bring the back knee down towards the floor. I'm trying to take it to 90 degree angle behind both knees at the base of the movement. I'm trying to bring the front thigh parallel to the floor. That's it, and I'm driving through that front heel. Now you see that I am not collapsing forward over my thigh, right? I'm keeping my chest lifted. You got it, guys. Four, in three, in two. Sweat's flying, huh? And hold right there. Same thing, I can see you guys sweating. I can see it from here. All right, all right. Doing okay? One more round, guys. And then we're gonna move on and have some fun with the bands. How about that? Okay, they look innocent, they're not. Last time with the Cossack, what's it gonna be? Dumbbell or barbell? You choose. I'm back with you. So, we're gonna take the legs out wide again. So remember last time you took them wide and then you walked that foot out, right? Now walk the other foot out. So you're now at the widest point. Are you ready, guys? Five, six, seven. Butt to the back wall. Don't be afraid to see how low you can go. So like I said, don't you worry about anybody else in the room. Everybody is on their own individual fitness journey, all right? Everybody's got a different story. So make it about you guys. Make that mirror your best friend and your coach. Take it down. You would never ever see a dancer training without a mirror. And by the same token, you want to use that mirror to keep you safe and injury free and make sure the movement stays effective. That's it. So there should be no collapsing, there should be no discomfort in the joints. You want to keep all the workload in the muscle itself. In four, in three, two, looks fantastic. All right guys, last time with the alternating rear lunges or the squats if you've had enough. Are you ready? And let's go. Back. Now what's gonna happen is now that you're starting to head towards fatigue, you have to be very, very careful that subconsciously, your mind is not making your body cheat. So your mind is always looking for an easy exit, right? So what it will try and do is like limit that range of movement, or it's gonna try and offset the exercise in some way to make it easier, keep going. So you've gotta stay very, very aware and focused, and you've gotta think about every single phase of the movement. That's it, especially the drop. If you're wobbling, I'd rather that you held it, got your balance, before you lower down. In four, in three, in two, and hold right there. Safely clean the press, guys. All right. So, remember I said it's not just the color of the band that dictates how hard it is, it's where we place it. So guys, what we're gonna be doing is a zigzag walk. So we're gonna be coming low, green is easy and purple is hardest. We're gonna be coming low and we're just gonna zigzag forward and zigzag back, okay? Now with the band, if you have it above the knees, that's really easy. Mid calf is harder, ankles is super hard, but you know I'm gonna go for ultra hard, right? Because I'm that special kind of insane. So ultra hard, I'm gonna have you stand on the band. How about that? What? So you're not gonna be able to get too far, right? So standing on the band, you're probably gonna end up getting that Charlie horse before the 30 seconds is up. If standing is too hard, obviously take it up the leg, that's fine, all right? Now the second exercise, you can either keep it on the feet or bring it up. What you'll be doing is three natural steps. One, two, three, then you're gonna squat down, little external rotation of the knee, one, two, three, squat down, and it's a very, very subtle movement. All right, guys, so we're gonna start wherever you feel good to have that band. I'm gonna stand on it just for grins. I'm gonna practice what I preach, right? We're gonna do, 
a zigzag walk. If I face plan, don't send it to America's Funniest, all right? Are you ready, guys? And let's go. So we're going to zigzag front and back. And you want to try every single time. I don't mind. If you snap that band, I'll just give you another one, all right? So take that leg as wide as you can. You want to start to feel that little Charlie horse sensation. Where are you going to get the Charlie horse? Right in the medials. Either in the abductors or gluteus medius or minimus. Keep it going, guys. You got it. Lovely. Now, the lower you can come, the more stress you're going to put on the quad, so that's a good thing. Hold right there. Guys, we're going to take three lateral steps. You might want to bring the band up a little higher for this one. It's up to you. Ready? Here we go. Three steps. One, two. Now squat halfway down, a little external rotation, and back up for three. So it's very, very subtle with that external rotation, all right? Now if you feel any discomfort in the ligaments, in your cruciate ligaments, eliminate that rotation, right? It really is very, very subtle. You'll sit back in those heels as you rotate out. I mean, I might literally drop in a couple of degrees. That's it guys, in four, three, oh you look amazing. And hold right there, now listen. Before we go on to the second set, if you were honest with yourself, was that band challenging enough? If not, you've got two choices, you either take it down and stand on it, or you upgrade to the next color. The other way you can make it harder is to hold a dumbbell. All right guys, so we're going back to a zigzag, is everybody good? All right, let's see if we can step a little wider. Five, six, seven. Zigzag, zigzag is here. That's it. Now, if you've got like a purple, or if you're standing on it, you'll literally be like this, right? And that'll be like all your force and all your power, and it's just like not going. And it's a good thing. That means you've got maximum resistance on that muscle. So obviously, what we're doing here is we're targeting the muscles of the inner and outer thigh, adductor, abductor, intergluteus, medius, and minimus. If you start to get a Charlie horse, guys, you can either pull out a bolt mission or take the band higher. And hold right there. Are you ready for <laughs> three sides or you're not? No, I hear you, I hear you. The things we do to look sexy, right? Five, six, seven, take it one, two, and then that sit down, tiny little rotation. There you go. So you're gonna feel it ignite into that abductors. Hard muscle to get to, in and out of thighs, right? Really, really hard muscle to get to. But my goodness, when they're sculpted, it looks amazing. All right, yeah, you got it, guys. You still wanna keep the weight in the heels, all right? So you don't wanna feel like you're falling forward that you start to get any pain in the knees, okay? So if the knees are hurting, you need to maybe reevaluate your alignment and make sure you're sitting back. Okay, four, three, two, and hold right there. Beautiful, guys. Last round. Last round. Does anyone want a quick trick before we go into the next one? You're doing okay? All right. Remember, your water is your petrol. It's going to give you juice. It's going to keep you going, all right? Back to the zigzag for the final time. Get ready, guys. Come on, even lower this time. Five, six, seven. How wide? So don't hold back because you're like, oh, I'm going to snap that back. We can give you another one. Lifetime's good like that, right? <laughs> yeah. That's it. So not only are you trying to go as wide as you can, but you're also trying to step as far forward and far back as you can as well. So we start to bring in the hip flexors and we bring in the glutes as well. You got it, guys. You've got 10 seconds to go. We're still pulling the abs in really, really tight, right? To help the back out. In four, in three, in two, Superb job, all right. <laughs> How's it feeling, Burning? Let's see if we can get that Charlie boss. I've done that when I was filming, I had sweat dripping because I couldn't stop. Are you ready, guys? Let's go to the side. Take it one, you're still looking to go as wide as you can. Then sit down low, little external. Now the lower you can stay with those lateral steps, the more you're gonna fire up the quads. Again, that's it. But please promise me, if you feel anything that kind of feels twitchy in the knee, that means something's wrong and you must stop, okay? It's not worth it, guys. not worth it for an exercise. It'll throw you back on your fitness journey. In five, in four, in three, in two, and hold right there. All right, guys. 
You've already done three supersets out of six. You're flying. You're flying. However, it's AMRAPs. So if you're familiar with GMO, the AMRAPs, as many reps as possible, is one of the hardest parts because now each exercise, you're in it for one minute. So this is a six minute block, guys. So what I try to do is I create hybrid exercises. So the hybrids, you're concentrated rather than watching the clock, okay? So I'm gonna give you two versions. I'm gonna be holding a dumbbell like this. Now, if you're more advanced, guys, what you're gonna be doing is a front lunge straight back to a real lunge. And if you're looking at me going, no lady, that's not happening today, all right? <laughs> then what you can do is a front lunge, you can add a little squat to recenter, and then you can take it to a real lunge and just take that squat to recenter. So the front back without the squat is really advanced, okay? So you choose where you wanna be. So you'll be doing 30 seconds on each leg, okay? The next one, guys, I'm gonna take you to a pistol squat. Now, you can do a modified pistol squat. A modified, the heel stays down, the chest stays up. You wanna take it all the way back and you're gonna feel a very aggressive bite in the hamstring. Then from there, you're gonna stand up and give me three hip extensions straight back. That's gonna hurt. If you wanna go for a full pistol, guys, you keep that foot off the floor, go as low as you can, don't mind me. I was doing barbell this morning, let me try again. You come down as low as you can, without touching that foot down, you go back into a triple hip extension, hard. I did one rep and I'm out. <laughs> I'm a whip like that, all right. So guys, what we're gonna do first is start with the front and rear lunges for 30 seconds on each leg. If you wanna add that squat in the center to refocus, go for it. Now see how heavy you can handle that weight. You can always change it on the next round. All right guys, ready? Let's go. So if you're just going front and back, you have really got to engage the abs. You can add a squat in between. So if you want to stop in the center, add a squat to refocus and rebalance and take it back, you can. This one is advanced. The advanced is the foot does not touch down the whole time. And that's going to take you to fatigue. Super fast, guys. You've got seven more seconds. Got to engage the abs. You're going to feel it burn on that supporting leg. And hold right there. Unravel, get ready to go to the other side. Are you ready, guys? Five, six, seven. Here. So advanced. That foot stays off the floor in the transition. Now, if you don't quite want to go to the squat, you can touch down. You can do a lunge, touch. And if that's just too much for you, you do that lunge. You sit back into a squat. And then that sets you up for your real lunge. So there's always somewhere to go, right? And of course, if you have problems doing lunges, just do goblet squats. It's all good. And hold right there. All right, guys. I would start with a modified pistol if I was you. So we're going to take that foot forward. Look how long and strong my back is, okay? One pistol, three hip extensions. On the same leg. Here we go. You sit back. You rise up. Back. Three, you can touch the toe down if you wish. And again. So you want to see that butt as far back as you can. You want to keep that head up and the chest up. So when you come down into the pistol, it should be right here, like at the base of the butt and at the top of the hamstring. And it's a pretty nasty bite, right? It's like the pit bull, the pit bull of hamstrings, right? And if you want to make it harder, guys, take it into a full pistol without touching the foot down. You can take it into the hip, triple hip extension. We're going to take that on the other leg, guys. One side will be more dominant than the other. Are you ready? There's your pistol. And then you can always touch that toe down in between. So however you feel today, right? We have days. The mind is willing and the flesh is weak. So as much as we want to, our body's like, no, we're done for today. Beautiful balance. Right there is beautiful balance. It takes a lot, it takes a lot to be able to keep the heel up for that pistol, not put it down for a rest and go straight to the hip extension. So that's a lot of core strength right there. You got it guys. In three, two, and hold right there, you okay? <laughs> all right, all right. The only reason I don't have you with a band, because when you're doing the lunges with these bands, they tend to rise up. So unless you want a free wax, I'm gonna say don't wear the back, right? How did you get on with that dumbbell? Could you go heavier if you were honest with yourself? Or a kettlebell? No, you're good where you are? All right. 
I just thought I would ask. Forever the gracious host, right? <laughs> We're going back to forward and back, guys. Either way, I gave you three versions. Are you ready? Five, six, seven, and let's go. So we're still thinking about quality of movement, right? Especially now, we keep hitting these muscles over and over and over, and they're starting to get tired. So we don't want to get sloppy in our movement, right? Because we're going to get hurt if we don't stay focused, all right? So think about your landing. Think about the width of your legs. So if you're doing this, the chances are your legs are too narrow. So take it a little wider, and that will help you out. Very nice. Hold right there, guys. Check it out. Let's get ready for the other side. Here we go. Front thigh. Parallel to the floor. So you can do the whole thing without that foot touching down. You can do a lunge forward step together. A lunge back step together. You can do a lunge forward into a squat, which will give you a chance just to refocus. Lovely. Very, very good, you guys. We're still putting the abs in tight. One way to imagine is that you can pull your navel in to touch your spine. In three, two, and hold right there. You've got 20s back there, strong girl. I'm impressed. <laughs> We're going into your pistol, into your triple hip extension. All right, guys, you got this? I know it hurts. Here we go. And into your pistol. Very, very important how you have that upper body. You want to think when you're doing that hip extension, heel up and toe down. Now you want to lift that leg as high as you can, so you really feel a tight contraction into the glutes. That's why you're here, right? Lift and tighten the butt. This will do it. That pistol's going to get hard though. Now eventually you can try to even just bring that heel maybe a centimeter or two up the floor and start to introduce to a full pistol squat. Hold right there, guys. We're going to take that to the other side. Are you ready? Let's go. So even if it's just like a centimeter, but these, think about going higher, higher, and higher. You will also notice when I'm doing that hip extension, I'm not taking it into an arabesque, right? When you do the hip extension, you want to imagine that rope from the center of your head up to the ceiling tight above you. So you stay tall in the upper body. Focus everything in the glutes. In four, in three, in two, and hold right there, guys. Woo, have yourself a little break. I'm pushing you hard tonight. <laughs> That's what you came for, right, results? All right. So we just got one more round with those lunges and the pistol squats. Now, if you hit fatigue, you can go ahead and do it without the weights, right? You just hang out, do it without the weights. Does everybody have a drink? You okay? All right, guys. Does anybody need a modification? Everyone's okay for the last minute? Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Front and rear lunges, choose your level. And five, six, seven. Also remember, when you do the lunge, you want to try and drive off that front heel as powerfully as you can. So again, that's that premise that I was telling you, the harder you push into the heel, the more you're going to activate the muscles and the glutes. And again, the stomach is pulled in tight. So if you can't picture pulling your navel to the spine, imagine someone's going to slug you in the stomach and how you would brace yourself with preparation. That's the contraction of the abs. You got it, guys. In three, two, Shake it out, shake it out. Ready to go to the other side for the last time. Ready? Five, six, seven. Down. So the chest stays up. So here's level three, the hardest level is right there. Level two, you touch down. Level one, you take a little dynamic recovery in the center with that squat. You've got eight seconds to go. Beautiful, guys. Woo. In four, in three. You're looking amazing. You're looking fearless. Hold right there. You guys are not even looking tired. You should, you should pretend to look tired because I'll just go and write something even crazier. So just fake it, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to work with the bench. How about that? So before we do that, guys, you want to make sure that it's steady on the risers, okay? 
So there were some classes in here today. So typically what I like to do is take my foot in the center and just rock the bench and make sure it doesn't give. Now, just make sure you've got enough room to go over the top. So here's what you're gonna do, guys. The foot's gonna be dead center of the bench. You're gonna do three low range offset uh, squats and then jump up, one, two, three. And you don't have to jump, but what I'm trying to get is down and reach up. So even if you step over instead of a jump, I want low to high. That pulse one is a preload and it's gonna burn like crazy, all right? That's your first exercise. The second one is horrible. Yeah, the Bulgarian. So we all know that the Bulgarian, the foot is dead center of the bench, the hand stays up towards the chest, and you bring a knee up here, right? So that's the Bulgarian. We're gonna add you, we're gonna level up today. Watch this, guys. One, two, three. Ugh. And it seriously makes it like 300% harder. So if you don't wanna do that on the bench, you can do it on the floor. One, two, three, bring the knee up, down. Very, very hard, especially if you've got three rises, okay? So guys, the first thing we're gonna do is do you wanna practice the offset first? We practice it together first. We'll practice both of them. One foot dead center, this is gonna be the offset, three pulses and over. So you come low, lower, lower, and then power over. Low, 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 and power over. That's gonna be exercise one for 45 seconds. You wanna try the Bulgarian? It's gonna hurt. Foot dead center, hands up by the chest. Three low pulses, one, Two, now bring the knee up to the hand. Oh, and then down again, right? <laughs> Hard, right? So if you want to do it on the floor and do three little pulses of the knee lift, you're golden. I do not blame you, all right? So guys, three offset squats over the top. 45 seconds at your pace. Don't worry about anybody else. No other equipment's needed. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, power. So we're firing up those fast twitch muscle fibers, right? With an explosive leap over the top of the bench, but you don't have to jump. If you don't feel comfortable adding that explosive power, just step or walk over the top of the bench. It's okay. You got it, it has that heart rate, guys. Oh, it gets you good. Keep going. You've got 15 seconds to go. Now, on these offset squats, we're once again shocking the muscle by having one foot higher than the other. You still want to focus on getting as low as you can and still focus on keeping all the weight in the heels. In three, two, oh, good job. The only good thing with the Bulgarian is we're only doing 20 seconds on each leg, all right? Because this hurts. So maybe we'll get like three reps out. So it's dead center. Bring the hand up to the chest and we go lower down. Ready, guys? And one, two, three, explode. One, two, three, shoot. So taking it down is the preloading phase. All right, you guys are stronger than I gave you credit for. So you're preloading and then a massive overload with that full bulk area. Hold right there, guys. Set up on the other leg. One side will be harder than the other. Ready, go. One, two, three, up. So if that doesn't feel good on the bench, Really, honestly, you don't have to do that, right? You can stay right here like this, on the floor, and just do three little dips. I know, right, I know. <laughs> in four, in three, I told you that's a doozy. Hold right there. That just amplified the Bulgarian squat by like 300%. We ain't playing. <laughs> you need a drink? Woo! All right, guys, we're going back to the offset squat. By the same token, if you don't want to do it on the bench, one, two, three, you can do the whole thing on the floor. All right, my lovelies, get ready, 45 seconds. Let's go. Lower, 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 and you can use the arms to drive you up there. Low, low, yes, very nice. Still think about sit back in the heels, guys, just so we don't hurt the knees, okay? Everything we're doing is to protect the joints, to protect the back, the hips, the knees, and the ankles. We want to keep the workload focused in the muscle as opposed to the joint. That's it. How's those legs? You're hating me with every fiber right now, 
You'll hate me today, but when you see the results, we'll be friends again. You've got five seconds. Yeah, yeah. And hold. But I say to you guys, for the Bulgarian, if it's too much, take a couple of rises away. All right, you can always take it lower. Are you ready, guys? 20 seconds each side. Let's go. One, two, three, shoot. Now, what the brain is going to do, because I'm asking you to bring the knees up to the hands, your brain is a sneaky little thing, and it's going to start to bring the hands down low. So you're like, oh, hey, I've got my knee to my hands. You're going to keep the hands up there, guys. That's it. In three. Lovely. Hold right there. Let's take that to the other side. Woo! I know. No pain, no gain. Are you ready? Go. One, two, three. Explode up. Do you also notice as you come up, you have to contract the abs really, really hard, okay? So by contracting the abs, that's going to help you stay balanced. Guys, you look absolutely outstanding out there if you don't mind me telling you. In four, in three, in two, hold right there. Woo! I know. The bad news is we've got one more round, right? The good news is this is super set number five out of six. So after this, we're going to train with the kettlebell for three minutes and then we're going to take it down to the floor and I'm also going to work your abs for you. All right, guys, so you're really, really close to the end of the workout. Does that kind of help? No? <laughs> I know, okay, I thought I'd give it a shot. I thought I'd give it a shot. Three low over the top, okay? Put dead center and go. Down, two, three, take it over. One, two. That's it, guys. So what you want to do is really take your arms down and drive the arms up to the ceiling to see how much air time you can get. So this is a plyometric movement. We are firing up the fast twitch muscle fibers. Yeah, beautiful over there, beautiful. Awesome, you guys. Now I know that it's really uncomfortable. I'm just asking you to hold on for 12 more seconds and we'll say goodbye to this exercise. You're almost there in eight, seven. Looks beautiful. Keep using the abs, guys. Three, two, and hold right there. Bulgarian, if you if you hit failure, go to the floor. All right, this is the last time. 20 seconds each side. Let's go. One, two, three, shoot. Down, two, three. Take a lot of power and also a lot of core strength. You've got six more seconds on this side, guys. Yeah. And let's hop, refocus, set up the other side. Are you ready? And go. 20 seconds. That's it. We pull it in, we're keeping that chest up. Lovely. Also, by bringing the knee up towards the shoulder, you're also activating the fibers of the lower abs. So that's someone little pooch, right? We'll take that. In three, in two, and in okay, three. All right there. All right there. As long as you're still standing, right? So guys, we're going to go to the kettlebell next. Has anybody not used a kettlebell before? It's okay. Everybody's used one? All right. Awesome. Awesome. Now the kettlebell, although we're working the lower body, is going to be really shredding your abs at the same time. So this is uh, our signature format. This is max out. So this is where I need to take you up into the anaerobic threshold to create EPOC, which is exercise post-oxygen consumption, which is a fancy word for afterburn. So we're going to work really hard for three minutes, and this means your body will continue to burn fat for the next 24 to 48 hours. It sounds pretty good trade-off, right? Not when you're doing it there. <laughs> Watch this, guys. We're going to do a figure eight. So it's a squat, a pass under. We're going to drop down and then take that overhead. All right, so down, two, three, four. All right, so that counts as one rep. So we're going to do it four times. We'll just check in with everybody if you need to go heavier or lighter. Then we'll do it eight times, 12 times, and 16. And then all we've got is three minutes down on the mat and we're out of here. Sounds good, right? <laughs> all right. So I'm going down to a 10 because I've done a lot of kettlebell this week. <laughs> done a lot of kettlebell training. All right, guys, is everybody good? Do you want to practice or is everybody good? All right. All right, double-handed grip. Are you ready, guys? Figure eight, take it under. Under, drop down, and take it up. And again, is it under? 
Drop down to the floor and thrust it overhead. And down. Drop down to the floor and thrust. One more. Drop down and in thrust and hold. All right, so we're gonna go in for eight. If you were honest, could you go heavier or are you okay? All right, you're not lying to me, right? <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Gotta wait my music, here we go. Figure eight. Down from a double-handed grip, and then I pop that kettlebell up so my hands go around the body of the kettlebell as I take it overhead. It's sit. Now, as we do that figure eight, it is still a squat, guys. So we sit back into the heels. We're still keeping that chest up. You got it. Now, how low can you go on that squat? Don't worry, it's always like an initiation. Everybody drops the kettlebell. Because we're sweating, right? And that handle is small, smooth metal. One more. You got it. Woo! And hold right there. How's that heart rate? Do you think you can do it for 12? Heart rate should be up, guys. Ready? <laughs> Five, six, seven. Under. Sit back. Sit all the way down. Drive up. So it's a powerful thrust up. The figure eight itself is targeting the abs and the legs. As you take it up into the thrust up, you're also going to feel the abs fire up as you drive overhead. Lovely. Now it should be getting harder and harder to catch your breath and it should be getting harder and harder to stay in time with the music. And that's where you want to be guys. That means your muscles are starting to hit fatigue and that's exactly the right place. Again, that's it. So remember I said I want to push you into that anaerobic threshold. So we get your heart rate up there. Two more. Woo! And again, last one. I'm done. <laughs> we still friends? Hold it right there. All right, guys. One more round. Can you make it to 16 and that's it? Heart rate up there. All right, guys. We got this. Mind over matter. Are you ready? Five, six, seven. Under. Down. Drive up. Down. That's it. So still keep thinking about your form. I know you get really tired and it's getting really, really hard to keep up. But what I want you to do is think about what motivated you to work out today, right? What made you come to Gluteus Max out? Now every single one of us has that ideal physique that we're looking to attain. So I want you to keep that image in the forefront of your mind and use that as a motivator to get through every single rep. All right guys, here we go. Last eight, under, under, down, and up. Yeah, you can. Are those legs on fire? Woo, heart rate's up there. Yeah, good job. That is the magic happening, guys. That feeling where you wanna quit and give up, but instead you dig deeper and you train like an athlete. That's where the results are waiting for you. Have you got just two more? Oh. That's the longest 16 ever, I swear. All together though, we just did 40 of these. Yeah, all together, right? And done. Woo! No thanks. <laughs> Good job, guys. We go now to the last three minutes. And you know me, I'm not gonna let up to the last second. It wouldn't be my class otherwise, right? I know I've got this reputation. So guys, we're gonna take the band down below the, uh, by the ankles. I'm gonna work your abs and almost a guarantee that I'm gonna give you a Charlie horse too. <laughs> All right, you get two, it's a bonus. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna take your band and just place it around the ankles or mid-shin. So guys, what we're gonna do is lean back here in a hollow hold so we're activating the abs and you are gonna try, keep the legs off the floor and see if you keep doing abductors. If that's too much, come down onto the elbows. If you come on the elbows, it takes the abs out. That's exercise one. Exercise two, you are going to push the leg up, at the same time push the other leg down. All right, so you're gonna feel everything working with that. We're gonna do those two exercises. 30 seconds each, that's three minutes, and that will take you into your cool down. Deal? All right. Obviously the heart, the 
And if we're going to drop it on down. Take hold of that thigh, keep pulling in and feel that release through the hip. We're taking the top knee down to the floor, arm in the opposite direction. And enjoy that release in the lower back and the obliques. We're going to roll onto the side, guys. Straight from the ear to the shoulder, hip to the knee. Now, press the foot as hard as you can into the hand and at the same time, tilt that pelvis forward. So you're going to feel the release in the hip flexor and deep into the quad. And then we're going to take that leg over. And then you're going to just use the arm to gently pull the knee away until you feel that release in the medials. You may feel those tomorrow. You know it's just a little knee, right? <laughs> take that bottom leg underneath and into the quad stretch on the other side. Patrick will be in here in about 15 minutes with barbell strength if you've got any juice left. I will be in the cycle studio at 5.45 with Edge. On Labor Day, guys, I'll be teaching step at 7 a.m. and followed by Edge at 8.30. So if you haven't done step like me for like 10 or 15 years, let's go back to the 80s or something, right? It's been a long time. All right, guys, we're gonna sit back onto the heels, walk the hands away, and just keep stretching. So we did all those thrusters with the kettlebell, right? So we just wanna make sure we're stretched out, the shoulders in the back. Now for the hip flexors, we're going to take the leg forward and then tilt that pelvis forward. Now this little hip flexor, this little muscle that crosses the hip joint, that was doing all the work in those front and back lunges that you did. To the other side, right here. Beautiful. We're just going to come on up guys, we're going to drop that shoulder down to the opposite thigh, keep on pressing down and take that to the other side. Guys, you are absolutely amazing. I hope the rest of your evening is fantastic. Have yourselves a great night. Good job, you guys. See you next time.